Hey, this is Todd with Living in Daytona Beach, and today we're gonna to take a look at the top retirement community in Daytona Beach, Margaritaville. We're gonna look at multiple homes in many different price ranges, and we're also gonna look at some of the area's amenities. We're gonna look at shopping, schools, recreation, fun things to do, and some bonus material thrown in for you as well. Stick around, that all happens right now. Hey, this is the first time to the channel. Go ahead, hit subscribe and the bell so you never miss a thing about living in Daytona Beach. If you're moving here in nine days or nine months, that is fantastic. Give us a call, text, email, or even set up a Zoom call because we talk to people like you every single day and we want to make your move memorable. Today we are looking at one of the top retirement communities in Daytona Beach, that is Margaritaville. And lo and behold, would you notice that, oh, there we go, I'm not, I'm not frozen anymore. I'm gonna grab my pen and mark this thing out. You may be able to see it, you may not. I'm gonna grab a different color here. I'm gonna do red, red-ish. And go ahead and mark this out. Margaritaville is right here, right there clear my pen right here and zoom in a little bit. You probably notice right here in the middle, we might as well go in and talk about, you've got the Latitudes Bar and Chill. You've got a Paradise Pool right there in the neighborhood. You've got tennis courts, pickleball courts, wherever you want to go. You can use a golf cart or a bicycle. It's a great little community to buzz around in. You can see all these different streets through here. It's just, it's, it's great. It's great. And like I say, it is a retirement community. Well, aside from just living there, is what what are some of the other awesome things around this area? Well, you look right here. As you come out of Margaritaville, we're going to have what's right here is called LPGA Boulevard, which is right here. So we've got LPGA Boulevard right here, and that's kind of your main roadway. So you can go towards what I would consider the south direction right there. And that's gonna lead you towards um, the neighborhood of Mosaic. It's gonna lead you to um, International Boulevard, kind of the, the um, less busy side of International Boulevard. Or you can go to the north direction right there and that's gonna take you towards I-95 and uh, Tanger Outlet Malls, which I'm gonna scroll down there so you can kind of take a look at that a little bit better. Right here, LPGA Boulevard. Heads down, you can see right here at the interchange, you have I-95 interchange right here. Uh, Tomoka Farms Road, I've mentioned this in other videos before, but I tell you guys, uh, this here 
right here going down to Mocha Farms Road before you get the freeway. This roadway right through here is all dedicated called the Daytona Auto Mall. Every car brand you could ever hope to find is down that roadway. tidbit of information. There is, I don't know if I should tell you this, but I'm going to anyway, there is a huge development happening right here right now that includes apartment buildings and uh, fast food restaurants, car washes, um, everything you can think of right across the street from Latitude's Margaritaville. Down here at Latitude's Margaritaville in Daytona Beach, we always talk about pros and cons of a neighborhood. So this is a fantastic neighborhood, but it's no different when I talk about a pro and a con. This could be one of those things where it could be a detractor for you. Brand new apartment complex is going across the street from Latitude's Margaritaville. 800 plus residents are gonna be there. So why is that a big deal? Well, you notice right here, this street, this road, LPGA that's out here right now, it's just one lane, it's two lanes of traffic, one going each direction. So it, it can handle quite a bit right now and it does get clogged up, but once this becomes full swing, it's gonna have a lot of traffic areas. Now the good side is, you're gonna have a McDonald's here, you're gonna have a car wash, you're gonna have plenty of added things are gonna go on right here. That's gonna add the enhancements of Latitude Margaritaville. So it's one thing to consider. It could be a pro, it could be a con, but it's one thing you need to be aware of. Top-notch 55 plus community right here in Latitude's Margaritaville, but this could be a, this could be a detractor to you. So just be aware, you're gonna have 800 plus people across the street. You've got one grocery store nearby, could be a madhouse, but that's up to you to decide. This is top Going over the freeway, you have all kinds of different things to be aware of. You have, you have, Bucky's right here. You have Bucky's. You have some restaurants such as Stonewood Grill, Miller's Ale House. You have Ford's Garage right here. You have, let's see if I can find it on here. You have Dave and Buster's. You have a um, little miniature, not miniature, but you have some additional restaurants through here that are inside the shopping plaza. Sam's Club is over here. You go further, you have um, one side is, um, excuse me, one side is the Tanger Outlet Malls, and the other side is the Tomoka Point or Tomoka Plaza, shopping plaza, which has things like dress, Ross Dress for Less, TJ Maxx, uh, Hobby Lobby, all those things. What else do we have near here? Lions Paw, Lions Paw neighborhood and LPGA neighborhood is across the street right there. So you have the LPG International Golf Course. Great place to go if you're a golfer. So right across the street there, beautiful golf course right there. What else do we have? Of course, we talked about the Tanger Outlet Malls, Sam's Club, Bucky's, all those right there. We're going to talk about, we have Champion Elementary School, 
right here. And down LPGA, we also have Father Lopez Catholic High School is down the street right from there.